Tammy Booth, show me progress. You've been tenacious in bringing private military contractors before your subcommittee on contractor oversight. On Tuesday, you'll have Booz Allen and Mantech testify on their hiring practice of prior service personnel. I'm concerned about the taxpayers training their workforce and then they transform into another untouchable part of the already bloated defense budget and one that has a mission that's at cross purposes with the interests of the country. How do we thread that needle and shouldn't we be undoing Dick Cheney's legacy of outsourcing the military to mercenaries and returning military jobs to the military? E3s don't triple their invoice, they cash their paychecks and spend them. Well, I think what we have to do, um, the question is multifaceted and I will just, as, as, a, as an overarching comment, doing some contracting has a place. What they have been doing is like the wild, wild west. And it is outsourcing all kinds of inherently governmental functions. For example, security. We cannot outsource the security of our embassies in contingencies. We can't outsource the protection of our diplomats. Even the protection of our bases has been outsourced to third world nationals. That is not the way we keep our folks secure. And it causes a huge problem because a soldier is standing next to a contractor who's making three times as much as he is and frankly not even in the same harm's way as the soldier. So we've got to get at that. Um, the hearing next week is about making sure that all contractors that do business are prioritizing the hiring of veterans as opposed to going to third world nationals they pay 10 cents an hour.